Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how to make this cute little snow buddy gnome. He's going to have a little sled to go with him. He's going to be made from a sock. If you want to know how to make him, stick around. I'll show you how. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. And don't forget to make him a friend. Okay, for this one, I'm going to use a lined sock that I got at Target. And if you can't find these lined socks, I'll give you some alternatives. And we're going to use a four and a quarter inch pool noodle. And we're just going to cut straight across the heel. Now, on the pool noodle, it really doesn't matter what size you get because these socks will stretch around it. We're going to go ahead and take the liner out of this bottom part and just put it aside because we are going to use it here in a little bit. Then we're going to turn our sock right side out. We're going to put a little bit of glue on the bottom of the noodle. And then we're just going to glue our sock down. Now try to make sure that you spend a little bit of time on this, making sure that you get your bottom of your heel underneath where the, the um, noodle is so you don't see it. And then we're just going to tie this off with a rubber band. And then we're going to tie it off with a string. Go ahead and don't skip on this part because eventually that rubber band will break down and it will break off. Go ahead and cut the excess off and then we're going to go ahead and start building the hat. Go ahead and cut it, cut it straight across where you don't have any of the heel on there. And then we're going to turn it inside out and we're just going to come down two and a quarter inches from the top and we're going to make a mark. And that's where we're going to tie this off. We're just going to tie it off with a rubber band and then we're going to tie it off with a string as well. And then just turn it right side out. I sent this little vacuum cleaner. It's a hand back by a company called Lightly. It comes in a bag, a little storage bag. You get a charger with it. And you have an extra wand to get into little um, tight crevices. And it comes with an extra filter. And I'm giving you a coupon below to save 50% off of these. This is a great vacuum cleaner for your um, workstation. I've already bought three for Christmas presents. All you got to do is just charge it. Push that into there and it suctions two different speeds. It's a great little vacuum. Okay, next we're going to take two little tennis shoes and I got these on Amazon. I'm putting two little 5 16 inch weights in them just to give some weight to the front part of them. And I'll give you the link for these below. Then I'm going to take two dowel sticks that measure quarter inch by six inch and I'm going to cut them off at four inches. And then I'm going to sharpen both ends of these. Just take them to a pencil sharpen and sharpen them. Then we're going to go ahead and put a little glue in the bottom part and then on the back part. And that's where I'm going to put that stick. We're going to put a lot of stuffing in here. So this is going to really hold in here well. You don't have to worry about it being so wobbly right now because it is going to get filled up with some stuffing. Just make sure that they are glued in there and they're standing up straight. Then just start filling them up with stuffing until they're completely full like as if a foot was in there. And I use quite a bit of the polyfill in these. And then just go ahead and tie them up. And make sure that you get them tied up tight. And don't worry so much about the top part because we're going to close that in here in a little bit. And then do the same thing to the other shoe. Just make sure that you get them stuffed about the same so they look exactly the same. And there is a right and a left on these. So we'll make sure we get them on the right foot when we get ready to attach it to the gnome. I take the insert that we took out of the other sock and we're just going to cut it off straight across the bottom. And then we are going to cut up two inches off of this and then go ahead and save the other part. We're going to use it in a little bit. And we're just going to go ahead and cut this in half and we're going to use this for his socks. Okay, so we are just going to glue up on each side about a quarter of an inch on each side because we want his socks to be tall. And then do the same thing for the other one. Now put them side by side just to make sure that they are the same length. And then we're going to go ahead and glue up one um, end of it so that it's finished out in the back of the shoe. We're just going to start right in the center of the shoe and we're going to glue in the very front part of the shoe. And then we're going to start gluing this around the shoe and we're going to finish it out with the finished edge over the back. You just kind of try to take your time on this because you do want to make sure that that does look straight across there. And then just go ahead and glue in the very back part. And then we're going to do exactly the same thing with the other shoe. Now, if you didn't have a lined sock, you can just use fleece or any kind of a furry fabric for the 
for the bottom part here, for the sock part. It doesn't have to be the lining. You can use anything that is kind of like a fuzzy type of material. Okay, next we're just going to attach our um, legs to our body. We're just going to take an X-Acto knife and cut a slit in there for that on both sides. Just kind of make sure that they're kind of in the e in the middle and that they're even, evenly spaced from each side. And just once you get them exactly where you want them, then go ahead and pull them back out and then we're going to just glue them in. Just make sure you have your right shoe on your right foot and your left shoe on your left foot. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and cut the beard. We're going to cut it at two inches wide by two and a quarter inches in length. And then we're just going to cut a U shape around there, cutting the backing only on this all the way around to the opposite side and then go ahead and comb it out. Then we're going to come down three quarters of an inch from the top part of the noodle. And that's where we're going to glue our beard in. Just go ahead and make a mark there if you need to. And then we're just going to glue it right there. Next, we're just going to put the hat right over the top part there. And if you didn't get the socks with the fur lining inside of them, you can just put a piece of fur trim around the edge of the hat. Then we're just going to attach a two inch uh, little pom pom to the very top part. And then we're going to start building the arms. The arms, we're going to take a 12 inch pipe cleaner. We're going to fold it in half and then we're going to fold it in half again and cut it in half. And then we're going to take a piece of fabric that's two inches by one and a quarter. And I'm using fleece because it doesn't fray and we won't have to hem it. So just go ahead and glue your pipe cleaner down on one side. And then we're just going to roll it up pretty tightly. And then we're just going to glue it off at the other side. So just put a little bit of bead of glue over top of that. And then just bend it over the top. And flatten that out. And we're going to do the same thing with the other one. And just make sure that you are not overhanging on the very front part because that's where we're going to put the hand. Just roll that up and then glue that off And because we're going to put these little beads at the end for their hands. You will have some hanging out the back though. Okay, then I'm taking a 10 um, millimeter half bead and I'm just putting it at the end of each one of these for his hands. Okay, then we're going to put those aside. And then we're going to attach his nose. And so we're just, I'm just taking a 15 millimeter half bead on this one. And I'm just going to put it right in the center, pull his hat back a little bit, and just glue that in. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and attach the arms. Go ahead and um, cut off any excess over the edge and then glue that flat. Do that to both of them. And then we're just going to slide them right up underneath his hat. And then we're going to glue those down in a minute when we figure out exactly where we want them. Just put a little bit underneath his arm and then we're going to put a little bit on the hat too just to hold that in. And just hang his arm over the just the um, bottom of his um, top just a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and then paint a sled. I got this at Dollar Tree. I'm just going to remove the jute off of it, and then I'm just going to paint it with a snow white um, chalk paint. Just make sure you get the bottom, the sides, and all of it painted. Next, I'm going to take the, the toe of the sock, and I'm going to put some rocks inside of it, and I'm going to put some polyfill inside of it. And then I'm just going to tie it off with a piece of um, baker's twine, and I'm going to add a wreath. Now, when we cut this off of the sock, the liner out the sock, there's going to be two holes on each side of the bottom of this little um, sock right here. And don't do what I do, F fix it before you fill it and you'll see my sock, you'll see my rock come out here in a little bit, but you just gonna have to just glue those two pieces up. And then there's where my little um, rocks fell out. So just go ahead and get that glued in good. And you can just overlap it. You're not going to really see it because we're going to glue it to the sled anyways. And if you didn't get a sock with a liner, you can just make a bag out of um, some furry fleece or some fleece. You know, just cut it into a square and then just glue it up. And then just maybe box off the bottom of it. Okay, next I'm just going to add a wreath to the very front of it. And um, I've had this wreath for a while. I don't know where I got it, just, but you can make any kind of wreath of one or any kind of decoration you want. 
glue it onto the very front and then we're going to put the um, jute back on it but we're going to go through different the top holes instead of the bottom holes on this one just kind of measure it off how long you want it and then just go ahead and push it through there tie it off on both sides and I'm just tying it in a couple of knots so it won't come through the holes and I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side just make it long enough to where if you can um, put it in his hand And then I didn't show you that I glued the um, bag on to the to the sled, but I did after the fact. Okay, next I'm just taking a ribbon and I'm just going to tie a bow with it. And then I'm going to put this onto the front part of the wreath. Okay, the next I'm just going to go ahead and attach a little Christmas tree up underneath his arm and I did glue on my little bag to the sled I just didn't do it during the video so sorry about that just wrap it right underneath his arm and I got those at uh, Michael's those little Christmas trees and then just put his little sled next to him and hook it up to his hand how cute is that this little guy turned out so cute. If you like these kind of videos, be sure and give me a like. If you want to see future videos, be sure and subscribe. And if you want to be notified when I have another video, hit the bell. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And be sure and make him a buddy.